Welcome to this short presentation about the AutoCAD Civil 3D2 Revit Shared Coordinate System tool. This tool has been provided by Autodesk Consulting. As you see we have a Revit building in Revit Architecture. This model is in the typical Project North uh, situation that is default within Revit. What we want to do is uh, position this building on the site where it's going to be constructed. Now to do this uh, we need to look at coordinate systems. We can take an export from this simple plan uh, into a DWG which is uh, standard through the panel here exporting to a CAD format, be it DWG in this case. If we come into Civil 3D this is the uh, product where we would design the uh, site in question but also we can just position this DWG file as a block or an XREF uh, on the site. The other thing we can look at is the heights in which we wish to place it so physically give that block a, it's a level floor slab uh, a certain height. We could use tools within Civil 3D to help work out what this uh, height would be. Now once you have the position on site you want to share this information back with Revit Architecture to set the shared coordinate system. So a design from Civil 3D and a design from Revit Architecture could all be coordinated into Navisworks. So using um, the tool as you see in the toolbox from Autodesk Consulting we can now pick uh, two points, one being the origin and then the second will help give uh, the rotation of the, the building. Now these points that you pick must be on the same level because that's how Revit works, it's in planes. It's a floor slab so the height should be consistent anyway. Here you can see the X, Y and Z, uh, obviously the rotation based on the two points and also the units that your Civil 3D drawing is in. In Civil 3D we work in either meters or feet. You'll give this um, file which is storing the information uh, a name of your choosing. Now, this name will be used in Revit as the shared coordinate system name. I'm using the OS coordinates because this project is within the UK. We come back into Revit and we go to the add-ins tab. So you'll see a new button uh, added to this area once installing the tool. We now press the tool and we're given the same routine of picking two points. So these points have to exist in both models. Once given those two points we get to choose that file that we just saved a moment earlier. And you see we get the uh, notification that it's set a shared coordinate system. Now the drawing hasn't changed yet and that's because we need to activate that shared coordinate system. So we go to the manage tab and go to location. If we go to the site tab you see our shared coordinate system and we make it current and you see settings are adjusted and it's relative to the project north. The drawing doesn't change necessarily here, but if you change the orientation from Project North to True North, you see that the model is now reflecting the coordinate system and rotation that we've specified. Again, we can export this um, this view as a DWG, but we're more interested now into the 3D model. So let's look at how we can share this information from Revit and actually take it back into Civil 3D. We can look at exporting to a DWG. And typically we will go next but we should look at this button here, the Modify Export Setup. There's two areas to uh, take notice here. The first one is Solids. So there's two choice of um, solids from 3D views and um, the preferred method uh, for uh, other uses within Civil 3D is ACES solids. Look at units and coordinate system. 
your model is still in millimeters or inches depending on uh, your location but our drawing units we would prefer this model to be unless we quite happily scale it and uh, we're going to choose meters and the most important area here is using that shared coordinate system choose next and give this file a location so we'll give this uh, file a name of office building So once the export is carried out, we are back in Civil 3D now, but this is um, a file where the model has been generated around that footprint, and you see we've got um, some surfaces for the, uh, the car parks, the islands, obviously hard areas around the building, grassed tie-ins, and an access road. So this is the model where I want to bring this information back. So if we use extra for insert, because we're treating uh, with the DWG, attach DWG, and we want to go back into the location where this is stored, office building DWG, you get your preview of your model, so it looks recognisable, and uncheck any of the buttons that you may use for drawing blocks um, because we're going to use the coordinate systems that's within that file uh, so as you can see the building is positioned exactly where we expected it to be uh, it is obviously giving us information in both 2D and 3D because of the nature of the file so this we can quite happily carry on working with in Civil 3D and we're coordinated with Revit and the changes that are made at any point in time by using XREF uh, that file from Revit can be updated and the XREF would also update so just the same traditional methods that we've used in AutoCAD for many years now the place we may want to take this is Navisworks so here's the same model in Navisworks and uh, we want to bring this information uh, together with the Revit model so at the moment we've just got the DWG loaded through uh, from Civil 3D how do we get from Revit to Navisworks so if we go into Navisworks here back to the adding tab if we look at external tools if you have Navis uh, installed or you run the exporters uh, options that you can download from subscription center we're able to export to an NWC so this is a non editable file uh, but passing all that model information if we look at Navisworks settings uh, this you do once uh, for the first time of use this will open some of the settings that are available for conversion and the main thing to be looking for here is that that coordinate system is using shared rather than project internal. If we just give it a name and hit save, it will export this file fairly quickly. Okay, so we're ready to look into Navisworks and append the file. So we're loading multiple files at any one time. We choose the NWC, office building, and there you see the building loads straight into position with very little fuss. And also you see all the render materials pass through nicely from Revit as well. So we have a quite a high quality visual in Navisworks. And we can continue on aggregating data from drainage and other disciplines to build this one true site model and look at all the extended uses of Navisworks.